Let's get a new divine passive and create one of the best units in anime fighters. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and like the video for free bow bucks. Ayo, F minus gang gang, welcome back to Anime Fighters, guys. Here we are enjoying the new Anime Fighters update. Me and my boy, at least over there, Baba we boy. got update 43 in the game. You guys have already seen the video I posted yesterday on the update. It's kind of cool. We got the new units. We redeemed the code. We're taking advantage of the passive transfer machine whoa new passives in the game as well and guess what speaking of passives i was thinking to myself hmm there's a lot of youtubers out there already that have divine passives they're incredibly difficult to get and maybe you guys watching the video you already have a divine passive it's like the best of the best in the game i was thinking well if other youtubers can get it lucky lo-fi can get it well f minus can get it too <laughs> and that's what i wanted to do for the video y'all you want to try to get the divine passive on a divine unit today you guys want to try to make the strongest unit ever in anime fighters because we are gonna definitely try to make it happen i mean the point we're making a video we're gonna make it happen so <laughs> we are going to do it guys by the end of the video now it's gonna be difficult but if you don't know, once again, look at my mouse cursor. Update 43 yesterday, basically, or whenever you guys are watching the video, they added a new divine passive rarity. Three new divine passives. Oh my gosh, guys. We gotta do it for the video. And I showed you one of the divine passives yesterday. And that was the angel passive. There's also interstellar. And there's a demon passive. But can we pull it for the video? Can we make one of the strongest fighters in the game? We have the resources. I showed you guys on stream. I got a lot of passive rerolls and stuff. I mean, we got like, what, 6,000 passive rerolls. And then we have like, what, these war shards, 5,000. I showed you guys the technique and the method. If you want to pull secret passives, you want to pull divine passives, just do it on a common unit. You guys see my common units here? That's all you got to do. The shards to reroll, the cost is so low. And that's how I was able to pull all of these golden luck passives on your common units right here. Or at least my common units. And you just clone them. That's what you guys want to do. And I also have the other new secret passive, Miner. Look at this, guys. We got another Code Geass unit with a Miner passive. Now you guys can get the best drop team in the game. And, you know, the drop team will also do a bunch of damage. And I also got it on Baby Nezuko. <laughs> hey, yo, yeah, we got Baby Nezuko over here. I guess she got sent out into battle, but she does have the minor passive. It's pretty cool. However, for the video, like I said, we are going to focus on the divine passive. And not just any divine passive. And not just that. We're going to focus it on Gojo here. So we got Gojo double monster, level 490. 10.9x what i want to do is take advantage of the requiem passive machine use the tokens i have in my inventory and then let's go ahead transfer protagonist onto gojo Baba boy. we're gonna get this guy to level 500 for the video and because my incubator and you guys have done infinity tower there's like an achievement you guys can get that raises the incubator level cap it's easy to level up your units Let's take Gojo Double Monster. Let's go make this guy as strong as possible. Level 500, get the Divine Passive. We will do it for the video, guys. Hopefully, <laughs> do it for the video. At least half of the job is done. We already have Gojo. He's limit broken. He has Double Monster, which is cool. All I got to do now is just purchase maybe some passive tokens and or the passive transfer tokens. Put these Double Monsters on a unit I'm not using. So let's say I got a common unit here. I'm not using like my down here. Transfer monster onto that. And then take some of my protagonists. I have a couple protagonists here. I got three. Transfer this protagonist. Transfer this protagonist to our Gojo. Gojo will get him to 500. Then we'll reroll the divine passive, guys. Woohoo! That is the goal, at least. I don't know if we're actually going to be able to do it. Because if you don't know, getting a divine passive, it's really tough to do here we are in the maiden abyss map i just want to show you guys a little something something here's the requiem machine let's scroll down i've pulled every passive in the game guys except for any of the divine passives i had to go on my friend's account to record the video yesterday today i'm gonna get it i promise you we will we'll, we'll try to get it <laughs> i'm gonna get demon interstellar or angel 
from what I heard, the best one might be Demon, because it has the highest base damage. But you could also try to get Angel. You could get Interstellar. The video I did yesterday was Angel. Interstellar gives you like a really high attack speed, plus it gives you a time multiplier. Demon gives you a high base damage. Angel gives you apparently attack speed, kind of like Interstellar. Plus it gives you like, I don't know, like your ultimate. It's like a lot. Like it hits way harder. So that's what I want to do, guys. Let's go pull all those passives. And it all starts in the passive transfer machine. If you guys have never used it before, well, f is about to show you guys how it's done. So check it out right here. If you guys go ahead and purchase the tokens, I went and purchased some. You guys can buy it for like 100 Robux each and you'll get five. Currently at the very bottom of the screen, I have 10 transfer tokens. Baba boy. This is what you guys want to use if you want to transfer your old passives, your new passives onto other units. I did it in the video yesterday. And what we're doing today is Gojo. So I'm going to go ahead and select Gojo right now. He got double monster. I'm going to need to move his passives because I don't want to lose monster. Maybe I'm going to use monster in the future. Maybe I'm going to use monster in my other team. You know, I got some other units I'm going to use. We'll get a full team of monster. I'm going to transfer one of the monsters, though, to a common unit. This is how you take out passives, unless they have already fixed it. Then there's probably another option. But for right now, this is how we're doing it for the video. Now we have Gojo. He only has one monster passive. So I'm going to select another unit in my inventory without a passive. Maybe Red Bat. I'm going to transfer the monster from Gojo to Red Bat. Let's go ahead and token transfer it. And anytime in the game, guys, you need these token transfers right here. I have eight of them left. You can buy it with Robux like I did, <laughs> or you guys can go to the conversion machine, transfer the, uh, or convert your passives, the regular ones into Requiem, the Requiem into the transfer tokens. It's a little expensive, but I mean, it is possible to do it. You guys just pay to win. You could probably farm like a couple of those tokens every day, like five every hour. And I guess not even a day. You can transfer, you can do a lot. And then if you're free to play, Shoo, you're probably talking maybe like 5 per day, maybe 10 per day. I'm not sure. Y'all like me though in the comments. Here's the transfer machine though. Now we have our Gojo. So I went ahead and renamed Gojo to God. Because this dude is a literal god in the game. And also, he's the strongest divine unit, highest base damage. And we're going to make him into a god by the end of the video. On the right side is where I'm going to put him. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab some protagonist units. Protagonist. So I'm going to transfer the protagonist that I got from my commons. I showed you guys the method already. Just take a common unit, reroll some shards on there, and it's just way cheaper to do it on a common unit. So I'm going to select them on the left, transfer protagonist to the right. Let's go token transfer it. Now we're going to do the same exact thing because Gojo only has one protagonist. It's not good enough. We can do better. I'll take another protagonist from, uh, I guess, Funny Valentine. We're going to transfer his protagonist. And that's why I said this transfer machine is so OP. This is how you guys will be able to make like some of the best fighters in the game. Let's go ahead and transfer that. Let's do it, guys. Now we have a double protagonist, Gojo. His name is God Cena. Oh, my God. I'm telling y'all, this dude is about to pop off. I'm really telling y'all. Because my incubator, look at the level. You see that mouse cursory? It is level 243. So basically, all I got to do is stuff Gojo inside of there. And then it says every hour. I get like 95 something something. I don't know. It's a lot. And the level cap is 500. So I'm going to go ahead and incubate it. You guys will be able to take a look. 490. It won't even take that long. Look at this. Oh my god. You see my mouse cursor? That is so fast. Oh my gosh. And you're probably like, well, it's not that fast, F-. Look at my time multiplier at the top of the screen. We only have 15x time multiplier. So all I got to do is get my rain avatar. This gives me an extra 1.5 times luck, maybe, or 1.5 times multiplier. I don't look, it doesn't look like I have a time potion, maybe in my daily rewards. Uh, no, nothing in the daily rewards, but that's okay. And then I'm going to go over to my time team. I'm going to go ahead and equip it. Now, if you guys take a look at it, I got like, what at the top of the screen? 27x time multiplier. Look at how much faster it is. Oh my gosh, it is so fast. And actually, I'm supposed to use Chief Maid. Chief Maid is way better. You get the EXP bonus, I think. And look at that. You see my mouse cursor? Literally every single... I don't want to say every minute. Every 45 seconds, I'm going to get a level. So I'll come back to you guys in maybe like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, or maybe 30 minutes or an hour. And then we'll have a level 5 
500 Gojo. My first level 500 unit, guys. Putting other units in my inventory to shame. Like our Asta. Let's do level 480. We got Black Frieza, 485. Jiren. I don't know. This Jiren is double slow. <laughs> I did this like a troll unit. But he's level 490. All these units, they're not going to mean anything. Gojo is the one that we're going to try to push all the way to the max level right now. All right, gang, gang, go ahead and check it out. It looks like our Gojo is just about finished. It should be done in the next like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. It's level 499 now. Keep in mind, I am paid to win. So you see my incubator right there. It's a lot easier for me to level up the incubator. But if you're free to play, it's still no trouble at all. You can still get your units to like 480, 490. You don't have to get it to 500. But if you do, yeah, you kind of are going to pop off in anime fighters. That's just kind of to be expected, guys. But once I get him to 500, the plan is to take off the protagonist and replace them with divine passives. Yeah, yeah, boy. Like I said, we still have to reroll for divine passive, but I do have a lot of shards in my inventory. We should be able to make it happen. And if we can't, well, I might have to start begging people for some like reroll shards or whatever, but I'll give you guys the technique in just a little bit. All you gotta do is get a common unit and then reroll divine or secret passive on there. And then that's pretty much it. You can't clone the divines, but you can clone the secret unit or secret passives. And that's good enough. And it looks like this one's almost finished. Do having double protagonist helps out a lot. It does give us that 6 XE XP. There it is, level 500. Let's go ahead and claim our first level 500 unit. Woohoo! We have done it, guys. Now, once again, you know, we got our Asta, 480. We have White Cream, or Luffy, 490. Look at these passives. Solid Gold Monster. Asta has Miner. And then we have Black Freeze with Monster and God. It's just some weird passive, y'all. However, Gojo is going to be the best of the best. 12x. Damn, 12x damage. Hey, yo, that's pretty OP. And if I turn off Ultra Performance Mode, you guys can take a look at our Gojo here. He has that aura. Hey, yo, he actually looks kind of cool. He got like that, those sparkles, like purple. It's pretty good. Once again, level 500, his name is God, so not too bad at all. He's like, oh, how did you get level 500? I told you guys, that's how you do it in Anime Fighters. Just put it in the incubation chamber. Obviously, it'll take longer if you're free to play, but hey, I'm paid to win, guys. I am paid to win. Next thing we're going to do is take a look at the passive transfer machine. I have to take off the protagonist passives because getting protagonist, although it's easy for pay to win, if you guys are free to play, you had protagonist on a random unit, make sure you guys go ahead and transfer it back to another unit swap it out don't ever re-roll it because you never know you might need it in the future so i'm gonna take like a robux unit there transfer one of the protagonists right because it's already max level we don't need it anymore and then i'm gonna take another one of those protagonist passives on our gojo and then transfer it to another robux unit so i'll probably do like ichigo over here let's go ahead and transfer it right there we still have four tokens left we can finish the video guys now if you take a look at our gojo 7x damage okay i know he's a little bit weaker he does have maxed out talent though and he is limit broken don't get it mistaken we can still get two passives all we got to do on our boy now look at that light blue aura is we have to pull divine passives yeah, and this is where everything comes into play how do we get divine passives f minus i'm free to play or i suck at the game well check it out right here go to the requiem passive machine or you guys can go to the normal reroll machine it's actually cheaper and it's actually better if you go to the normal machine it costs less like shards it costs less rerolls if you do it here so if i had gojo check this out i select him look at that how much it costs to reroll one passive 30 shards however this is not what you guys want to do you don't want to reroll on your divine unit or your seeker unit your mythical i want you guys to reroll on a common unit so i have a code geos unit here i have 5,000 shards i'm probably uh, i have like an alternate with another 5,000. i'm not sure if we can pull divine passive but like i said i'm gonna try my best <laughs> i'm definitely gonna try my best but if you do on a common unit it only costs one shard to reroll you see this right here auto passive reroll turn this on use the shards not your tokens use the shards and then just go window shopping you want demon you want angel you want interstellar you want monster you want protagonist you want any of these passives just turn it on that's all you got to do you want minor and then just start re-rolling and like i said it only costs one shard and if you look at the index over here the chance of you getting something is only three times lower 
than if you went to the Requiem machine. That basically means Requiem machine over here is a little more expensive because this one has a three times better chance, but guess what? It costs five times as more. This one costs five shards, and that's why I said it's cheaper to do the normal machine. If you don't have any time in the game, use the Requiem machine. I'm not about to spin for the next 10 years, so I'm gonna use the Requiem machine. And then all I gotta do is just turn on for Demon, Interstellar, and Angel. Those are the only three passives I'm going for. The one I really wanna try to get is Demon. But if we get Interstellar, I'll be happy too. And then I'm just gonna start rerolling, guys. I get a thousand rerolls just doing this. Now, the chance of you guys actually pulling this, and I've mentioned this before, if you guys wanna get these divine passives, it's one in like 30,000. And that's with the passive lucky game pass. And that's if you're using Requiem Machine. So one in 30,000 for pay to win, maybe one in 50,000, or maybe the chance is the same. It's like 0 0.0037 for free to play. You guys let me know in the comments. It's gonna be really tough to get this though. I will definitely try my best. And I'm just gonna keep on spinning. Whatever divine passive we end up with, it'll be great. Once I run out of reroll shards from Code Geass, I'll just go through my inventory, look for other shards. Okay, we're gonna do Chainsaw, The Hole, Boruto, uh, Land of Guts. All right, didn't work out. Let's go to uh, Soul Academy. And then I'll go on the Discord server. I'll trade some people. I'll beg some people in my server right here. And then we'll try to get as many shards as we can so that we can pull the divine passive you guys would do the same thing. You gotta get on your knees to beg. Do what you gotta do, guys. Divine Passive is OP. We'll see by the end of the video how OP our Gojo is. And I think we gotta pull Divine Passes twice because we gotta get two Divine Passives, right? You can't clone them, so maybe we'll get Monster. I don't know. We'll see We'll see what happens, y'all. 2,000 years later. That's it, y'all. We did it. We freaking did it. We just pulled it. We've got the new interstellar passive right there. The new divine passive, bro. You guys do not know how long this took me to get. This literally took me hours. I'm talking like four or five hours. I had to keep on spinning. I only have like a couple hundred uh, hole shards left. I had to beg everybody in my server. I was like, please guys, you have to help me out for this video. Please give me all your shards. Please help me out right now. I don't think I have anything left in my inventory. You guys can check it out. Everything is gone, all of my shards. But we still have a couple hundred lizard shards there. So I can't really say this passive is easy to get. But it is possible to get it if you guys beg enough of your guys' friends <laughs> for those uh, shards. So that you can get the new passive in the game. And the one that I got is called Interstellar, I think? Yeah, this is the one that's... Uh, I got it on a chicken unit. It's from Doro Hedoro, the whole map. It's level 242. This passive, I have no clue what it does, but I'm going to put it on Gojo. <laughs> and not only that, I'll probably change his illusion, do other stuff, but um, I'm going to let you know right now, guys. I wish, I wish I could get two divine passives. I can't do it, though. It's, it's not possible. It took me a couple of hours already to get interstellar, and I had to beg so many people. Now, if I try to get another one, it's it's just, it's not gonna happen, guys. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. What I can do is show you guys our new passive, though, so that's kind of cool. Uh, Interstellar, first divine passive that I got. Chance of you guys getting it is really, really low, though. You can already see the aura, kinda? I don't know, I might have to go to Destiny Island. The map is a little bit dark there, and then we can check it out. All right, here we are in Destiny Islands. You guys can see the Interstellar passive. It's kind of like a light blue. If I change the graphics to like five, maybe you can see it better. It's kind of like Gojo, I guess, kind of. It's like a light blue passive because the unit we're still working with, by the way, guys, is our Gojo God level 500 7X. What I'm going to do for the video, transfer this Interstellar passive to our Gojo. And I think it kind of lines up Gojo interstellar think about it interstellar cosmos infinite void that's gojo that's his passive unfortunately i can't get two of these it's it's too difficult guys i'm <laughs> miss me with that you ain't no no way i'm not doing it but what i can do is transfer the passives let's head to the time chamber so we're still going to try to make the strongest unit possible um i don't know about raw damage but maybe damage Per second possibly i'm not sure we'll we'll take a look at it i'm gonna go ahead and take our turkey or chicken unit or whatever it's called so i'm gonna type it in here chicken it's technically like a turkey um i'm gonna select him interstellar passive it costs one of those passive rerolls let's put it on gojo and let's transfer it in three two and one there's the first transfer but we're not done yet gojo has 
Wow. <laughs> Gojo has 18.9x. Ayo. So I have Interstellar. It only makes sense. The other passive is light speed. Because if you think about it, light speed, interstellar, they kind of do the same thing. I don't know the exact stats, but O Trademark has a video on it. It's like a better light speed, like way, way better. And it gives you a 1.4x time multiplier. I can go ahead and equip our Gojo right here. Ayo, look how cool he looks. Oh my god, he's so cool. Now, before we put light speed on him, I want to test out Interstellar just by itself. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on those fighter effects. And then let's just go ahead and start attacking the Time God. I'm not going to do a DPS test. I just want to see. So it takes a bunch of hits to get the ability off. He still does his red. It's like one, two. Dude, he attacks so fast. Oh my. Wait, hold up. Let me cook real quick, y'all. Let me cook real quick, y'all. Hey, yo, what is Gojo doing to me? Look at this. Oh my God. He's attacking so fast, though. That's the craziest part about it. So this is not the limit. We can still get another passive. Once again, I wish I could get double divine. It's just, dude, it's so hard. Even for end game pay to win like me. So I'm going to go ahead and take a light speed unit. Let's go find a light speed that I'm not using. Ooh, do we have to borrow one from our time team? All right, we'll do it for the video. And then I'm going to take my Gojo. So it's going to be interstellar plus light speed. I'm going to transfer it in three, two, and one. There it is. Now we have Gojo. This is our final unit, I guess you can say. And we're going to still, you know, illusion him, maybe Indra Burst. But this is what we're working with. 25x that's incredible interstellar light speed i you know if i could get du double interstellar that'd be nice but yeah that's that's not gonna happen <laughs> once again here's our gojo he looks really cool level 500 max talent limit broken 25x now we can do a damage per second test we can really test out how much his damage is we're gonna illusion him as well because we have interstellar i feel like injure burst would be really op so i'm gonna send him out to attack he does teleport by the way interstellar i don't think he teleported so look at this yo he's teleporting y'all he's popping off there's our gojo hey yo <laughs> he's probably doing like 100 hits or something look at that skill bar it just fills up so fast and if i combine this with injure burst like i said or maybe like rob overdrive i'm sure it's gonna be even better so let's go do that right now i don't do i have overdrive in my inventory overdrive no what about indra i do not have an indra do i have any fire force shards i don't even know if i can make this dude i don't have any fire force shards so let me go beg a couple of people let me go make the craftable unit in fire force and then let's illusion it onto gojo and see how well Gojo performs. When in doubt, all you gotta do is beg people. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> and then you guys can make your units and get some shards and stuff. Like, it actually works. Um, even if you're not a YouTuber, it, you can still beg people, it works. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer Injure Burst right now, though. I'm gonna go to my inventory. Here's Injure Burst, and I'm gonna transfer it onto our Gojo. I feel like this is gonna be better because Injure Burst has a really high hit count. He's one of the best illusions in the game and it'll give us a really good advantage when I put it on Gojo because that's what we're doing. Making, at least we're gonna try to make the strongest fighter. Let's go craft him. Yes, I do wanna do the illusion. Now we have God, Gojo, Injure Burst, Illusion, Interstellar, Light Speed, Limit Broken, 25X, level 500. <laughs> yeah, we had to say all of that, guys. He's on fire, plus he has the blue aura. Oh my gosh. The only thing we gotta do now is test him out. Let's go to the time chamber. Let's see what happens. Like I said, I really, I really, really wish we could have had double divine passives. It's just so difficult. At least we got interstellar and light speed. Light speed's like a weaker version of interstellar, I guess. I wanna see how well our Gojo performs now. So let's go send him out to attack. We'll turn on the DPS counter at the top of the screen. Yo, he's having like a seizure. Oh my god. He's about to get the attack off. Ayo. <laughs> Wait, why is he doing? That's just so... Ooh, man. Huh? Look at Injure Burst though. You guys see him? He's literally like flapping his arms. That's crazy. So you guys can look at the top of the screen. Wow, 5W. Damn, that's crazy. 5W is so much. And once again, you guys can't see the injure burst. The dude is going absolutely bonkers. He's literally flapping his arms. His ultimate gets off. He's literally hitting 100 times. That's the power of the interstellar passive. Look at that. 
I don't know, he's probably hitting like 30 times, 20 times or something like that. Every hit, maybe every like fourth of a second, it's absolutely insane. His DPS test is going amazing, plus he has a really cool effect, plus he looks really cool, plus it's the strongest divine in the game, plus it's one of the best divine passes. I don't know if it's the best, I doubt it. Probably demons better, I'm not sure, but I feel like a light speed combo with interstellar is great. This is how we do it for the video, guys. Once again, if you want to see it, 25x level 500. I know you guys are thinking like, you just clone it now in F-. minus. You can clone Interstellar. Once again, I said it earlier, you guys cannot clone your Divine Passives. Let me rephrase that. If you try to put your uh, Divine Passive in the clone machine, it'll let you clone it unless Caleb changed it. But whenever you finish cloning, you'll get a unit back, but it'll have no passive on it. So it doesn't actually work. But I feel like this is pretty solid for the video. You guys would definitely have to let me know. I mean, there's like nothing else. Like I could, I mean, I could transfer Interstellar. Oh, <gasps> you know what I'll do guys? Just for like a little, you know, a little something, something just to like say, hey, yo, this is pretty OP. Why don't we use the transfer passive machine once again? Right, that's the coolest part about it. You have a passive, you, you want to like change it. I want to put Interstellar on somebody else. What if we do it on a super weak unit, right? We get it like a level one unit. <gasps> Vegetable? Ayo! <laughs> Think about it, guys. Let F minus cook real quick. Now I got Interstellar on Vegetable here. You guys see the right side of the screen? 640 damage? Wait, he had like 280 before, right? So Interstellar gives you like 3x damage. Damn! Now I have a Vegito. What if I try to go to the first map of the game, Super Island? How well is he going to perform even if he's level 1? So once again, we're still testing out that Divine Passive. I'm going to unequip everything. We got Interstellar uh, Vegito over here. Hey, yo, he's about to pop off or what? Yo! <laughs> That's kind of cool. Plus he has the light blue aura. It's a one tap though. Everything's a one tap. Even though he's level one, that's how strong it is. Maybe I can even go to Hero University and maybe it's still gonna be a one tap. I'm not sure. Let's go try it out. I'm gonna start killing the enemies. Here's one enemy right here. It's not a one tap, but oh, this is perfect. We can actually get the hit count. How many hits does it take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it takes 12 hits. I guess six plus six or six, maybe like four plus eight. I don't know. But it takes 12 hits total for Vegito to get his ability off. And that's how you guys do it. Maybe we can try to make the strongest, I mean, weakest divine, but into the strongest. Because now we have our new interstellar passive. Maybe I can do this on a different video. I'll get the weakest unit in the game, a common Goku. I'll get this dude, like, protagonist, put interstellar on him. Maybe he's going to end up being stronger than Black Frieza. Stronger than, I don't know, White Cream. There's a lot of possibilities now with the passive transfer machine. You guys can take advantage of it. You guys let me know in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed the video though. Really do appreciate your guys' support. And until next time guys, I'll see you in the next video.